Hey guys, Brainflight Apps here. Um, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to switch views, a very good, well way, I guess. So let's just get started. You open up a new Xcode, and I am using the 4.0 whatever Xcode Beta 4, the newest one that's out at the time. But you might be watching this at a different time. So let's just choose iPhone. Choose. Let's just call this View. I guess. So this is very easy and fast, so there's a little file right there, and let's just stretch it out, if it'll load. Hold on, sorry. There we go, alright. Stretch out our... So go into our classes, we'll do all the code first, just real fast. So you want to make your IB outlets of your view, so IB, IB outlet, UI view and star oh capitalize the v view and skull so, uh, let's just say that one and then we're going to make another view and all we're doing here is just switching views so nothing really special but i guess and now you want to make two uh, IB actions, which we'll call actions, and make this go to one. You can call this whatever you want, but I'm just calling it this. And go to two. Go to T W O. All right, that's and now we're just gonna add in the code. So go into your dot m right there, and do dash IB action. Sorry if I'm typing too fast. You can pause it whenever you want or anything. So. And now you get go to one. That's what we called it in the dot h right there. Go to one. And we're going to do that little symbol. And it's going to be self dot view. Add sub view. And you're going to call this whatever you called it right here. And we just called it one. So. Uh, it's a view one that little symbol again semicolon and that's it just to switch a view and dash IB action we're going to be making our other one that we made go to two and then we're going to go dash self it's basically the same code but you're just adding as instead of one Two, right there that's that simple and that's all the code you need so save that real fast we're done in our code and classes so let's go into resources right there and add our view view controller that's pretty funny view view sorry it's a bad joke minimize that and hopefully interface builder will pop up I'll just pause it and come back when it's there. Alright, so once you have Interface Builder up, here's your view. And we're just going to change this a quick little color if Interface Builder would like to load. It's Attributes. Hold on. Alright, well, never mind about that. Interface Builder is being difficult. So, we are going to add in two more views. Right there, and right there. And we're going to call this first one, which is right there, our view that's already up there. We're going to click the name. Oh my lord. Alright, there we go. Click the name and call it Home, because that's our home view right there. Call this one 1. And this one too, just for organization. And eventually, if you have like 20, 20 of these things, you might want to rename them so you don't get all confused. This will be really helpful. So we're just going to add a label up here, drag it in there, and call it home. 
and we're going to expand it by calling command shift plus and that will make the text bigger cool little trick there and now we're going to add a button I'm just going to go to first view oh I spelled view alright and now you want to open up one and here it pops up and we could just close this or no we'll leave it open and let's just do a different color um, we'll do this one this little line one and this will be go to second view and this is the first view right there and let's just text color if you find it text color text there it is and change that to black and command shift plus to make it bigger just to make it look pretty I guess and now we go to two and let's just change this to like some scratchy thing and this is, would be our second view and we'll change the text color to black and command shift plus to make it bigger and let's just add a button no there actually is no button right there so that's sorry about that and so to connect them all click on file zone right there go on your connections and all these should be up there if you haven't go back to the video and you probably did something wrong so one our out our views that we did was one is right there it'll light up and you just right there yes it goes there there's two and go to one would be on our home view so we just touch up inside or outside that was so I'll just press that X and redo it touch up inside go to two touch up inside and now we are done save it and quit it and let's just go back into Xcode alright so here we are um, at simulator 4.0 we could just build and run and it's building and it should be installing installing Hold on. All right, here it is. I guess it's still installing. Sorry about my computer being so slow. I think it's because I'm recording something. So sorry about that. Might be longer than I thought it would be. All right, so here it is. And still loading. All right, here we are. So here's our home view, and go to first view. There's our first view, or it could be your game view, or start game, or whatever you want to do. It. And then go to second view, and then there's there's our second view that we did. So that's it. Uh, please go rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, so that's it. Uh, sorry about the slowness of my computer, I guess. So see you guys next time. And sorry about that I have not been making a video in so long. I'll try to get on that. Sorry. See you guys.